Okie dokie, uh, yeah, so October Tag Challenge, day 21 of 31. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> what is uh, something uh, that happened to you uh, despite the odds being uh, stacked against you? Uh, wow, I don't know, probably something has. Um, The only thing that's coming to mind is I, I won $665 on the lottery one time. I mean, that's $1 away from being hilariously, uh, a hilarious amount of money, you know. Uh, $666 would have been so much more fun than 665 But anyways, yeah. Um, yeah. Did extremely well in electronics course, uh, in an electronics course, uh, even though I uh, am dyslexic and whatnot, and uh, uh, at the time was seriously depressed, so yeah, probably would have just done f even better if I wasn't depressed, that's, that's for damn sure. If you... Uh, by the way, weirdly enough, my dyslexia seems to have gotten less serious as life goes on. And I have no idea why, because I don't think it's supposed to. But anyways, uh, if you uh, were a superhero, uh, what would you, what would be your name, costume, and... Uh, uh, Catchphrase, okay. Thought it was catastrophe. Like I say, dyslexic. Uh, catchphrase, uh, who would uh, you fight? Yeah, yeah, this is a really, really freaking hard question. Uh, I, I think I'd be called amorphous, uh, just because. Uh, an amorphous blob. Anyways, uh, and... Uh, my costume would just be uh, a skin-tight suit to show off my hot body and uh, uh, um, a headpiece thing to hide my face and, and whatnot, you know. Uh -huh. My catchphrase uh, would be, you know, you wanna get thumped, that is. <laughs> Who would I fight? Super villains, of course. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I can't. Uh, I, I used up all my capacity to uh, imagine with that. Uh, I can't imagine you a, a super villain. Um, Dudley Do Right? No, no. The other guy. The, the guy that Dudley Do Right was always fighting. Uh, Snidely? I think. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, anyways, what uh, was uh, the uh, last song uh, that got stuck in your head? Oh, you don't even want to know. <laughs> you really don't. Uh, uh, it, it was called Shit in Your Mouth. Shit in My Mouth, that is. Uh, it, these people were saying it was on a video uh, on YouTube where, where they were singing it in... Uh, uh, um, uh, a subway car and uh, yeah anyways yeah that and it's stuck in my head for like an hour I had to put on the headphones and drive it out basically uh, what is the uh, largest and most uh, complex thing uh, you have memorized uh, largest and most complex thing I have memorized I have to uh, think uh, the, the the book The Onion Field because I've read it like ten times and uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, um, I had a friend that was a savant. Okay, uh, he we used to play games together on his computer and uh, and hang out and watch movies and stuff. Anyways. Uh, he had memorized everything by William Shakespeare. I mean, everything by William Shakespeare. But he could hardly dress himself. So, you know. Anyway. 
Uh, assume uh, that God exists. Uh, I do assume that. Uh, for uh, our purpose, he created the universe and has uh, witnessed everything that has uh, happened since. Uh, he also has control over everyone's lives and, des and destinies. Uh, once uh, a millennium, uh, he appears uh, to someone in uh, his human form and uh, will answer one question uh, with absolute truth. He has uh, chosen you. What do you ask? Given that there is so much harm being done to people in the world, and being that children are dying painfully of cancer, why the fuck aren't you doing something? Uh huh. If uh, you would have uh, any superpower, if you could have any superpower for just one day, uh, what, uh, uh, but uh, you got to choose uh, the superpower and when you activate it, uh, what would uh, you choose and uh, when would you uh, use it? I would use it bloody well all day and it would be teleporting, and I would be stacking up on money that I'm stealing from bad people. Mm -hmm. Jump in, steal some drug lord's pile of cash, and then jump back to my place, you know? I, I have like boxes of money stashed in, in, in a storage container in my closet, you know, enough to, uh, last me for the rest of my days, basically. Uh, in uh, what uh, way have you uh, experience, experienced uh, the saying, you don't know what you have until you lose it? Um, I think my last dog, uh, I really liked my, I really loved my last dog, but uh, um, once he was gone, I, I, I wanted him so much to be back. And uh, I, I really super appreciated him. I, I think I took him, pretty much took him for granted that he was gonna be there. And, you know, and then one day he wasn't and uh, yeah. Anyways, someone that you love will die. <laughs> Too many already have. At the end of today, uh, only you know it. Uh, they don't. Uh, how do you spend your last day uh, with them? And uh, when do you tell them uh, they're going to die if ever? No, I'm not going to fucking tell them they're going to die. That would be evil. Uh, just let them just go naturally, you know. Uh, I, I would hang out with them. I would do as much as I could with them, uh, you know, just being with them, hang out, uh, watch movies or um, go for coffee, whatever, uh, just hang out for hours and talk, you know. Uh, be, just be there with them. Um, who is uh, the single best person you have ever met? Uh, what makes uh, them the best? Uh, I haven't met them in real life. I've only met them online. And I am not telling you their name. Uh, I'm not. Uh, you can't have names. Uh, and what makes them the best? They've gone out of their way to help a bunch of people in, <clears throat> in their time. My throat is just going off, uh, and it's my voice is warbling, and it sucks. Anyways, they have gone out of their way to help people um, to an extreme degree. Um, they have uh, worked extra hard, uh, extra long hours, so that they would have money to help people out. Uh, 
with things that they need uh, and uh, gone out of their way to uh, use up literally all their free time to to help people uh, physically in the real world so that is amazing to me anyways uh, that's it that's all have a fab day and keep smiling yo